If you still think Iron Man only saves the world in comic books and that the Terminator is no more than a Hollywood creation, chances are you haven't heard of the wearable robotics industry. Our reporter Z Zung shows us some of the creation being shown at WearCon here in Cronkite. I believe that we're on a threshold of really man's next transformation, and that is uh, where man and machine become symbiotic. You've only seen it in movies. What did you do to me? But the combination of man and machine has already been used in many fields, from military to medicine. Dr. Armstrong is a professor of surgery at the University of Arizona, and he spoke at the event. He sees a promising future for the technology. Some of the great, really the revolutionary uh, potential of various types of new types of technologies uh, that can not only heal wounds but then protect people and help people move uh, through the world. And that really is the promise of uh, wearable uh, robotics and exoskeletons. Take this group of ASU students who's developing a jetpack to enhance soldiers' running capabilities in combat. It's very simple. All it does is push you forward using air, like 15 miles an hour for an entire four minutes. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty fast. After putting on this 15 pounds of jetpack, it gives you an extra 30 pounds of boost. With a turn of a knob and a little bit of practice, it allows me to run much faster than I normally do. However, Dr. Ling says there's still many challenges ahead for this emerging industry. We have to do it in a way that allows us to ask these very difficult ethical questions, socially relevant questions, so that we can be prepared for when these things do come about, because they will certainly come about. And we're seeing the future and what's ahead in wearable robotics. In Phoenix, Zizun, Cronkite News. The WearCon was sponsored by Intel and E and shows cutting edge technologies from big names like Harvard, NASA, and DARPA. To find out more details about this conference, go to wearablerobotics.com.